Welcome to another session of Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes University. Uh, today we're going to talk about basal bolus insulin dosing, but because it's a lengthy subject, we're going to start with just the basal part. Uh, basal bolus means an attempt to imitate the way non-diabetic humans make insulin. Dogs and cats and other animals also make insulin the same way. They make insulin continually around the clock, even if they're not eating, small amount, that stops the body from breaking down uh, its own proteins, muscles and so on, uh, to maintain blood sugar. Uh, and uh, the bolus, the insulin that people makes, is at mealtime or whenever they're eating something that could raise blood sugar. In, in reality, anything you eat can raise blood sugar, so uh, humans make insulin, extra insulin, when they are eating things and when the things they eat are being digested. So we're talking only now about basal. And nowadays, there are, to my knowledge, only three basal insulins being made. By the way, the best basal insulin was discontinued uh, for marketing reasons, not for rational reasons, uh, not for the patient's uh, benefit, and that was ultra lenti insulin. We now have uh, Levomir, chemical name Detamir, uh, as a long-acting or basal insulin, and we have Glargine, also called Lantus. Um, I'll talk about the um, brand names, not the generic names, because they're more comfortable for me. Now, Lantus, bo both Levomir and Lantus have problems of storage. W once the bottle, the vial, is punctured, uh, the uh, insulin maintains its strength for about uh, 40 days for the Lantus and 47 days for the Levomir if kept in the refrigerator. If kept out of the refrigerator, they will probably not last that long. So people are wise to keep these particular brands of insulin in the refrigerator. And if you're traveling, uh, you should, at the very least, use a bag of Frio. Here's a bag of Frio. We've il illustrated it on a prior session. You put the inner bag in a sink of cold water for 20 minutes, no longer, and uh, then you can put the insulin vial, if you're traveling, inside the bag uh, and put the inner bag in an outer bag and you could carry it with you when you're traveling. If you're at home, use the refrigerator. If you're staying in a hotel uh, after traveling, keep the insulin in the refrigerator. Uh, the Frio will lower the temperature of the insulin by about uh, 10 or 12 degrees, uh, but uh, you should keep it in a refrigerator when, when possible. This is both the Levomir and the Lantus. The Levomir lasts a little longer than the Lantus. They claim 30, 47 days. I tell people uh, which, uh, to use only Levomir uh, for reasons I'll go into and uh, I tell them to uh, discard the vial after 30 days. Uh, these insulins are also available in pens, and depending upon the pen you use, you may or may not be able to get fine adjustment of doses. Uh, to me, fine adjustment means uh, able to adjust the dose by one half unit increments. Um, uh, Lantus, unfortunately, has 165 times the affinity 
for GLP-1 receptors uh, than the levomere. GLP-1 receptors are growth hormone receptors that appear on cancer cells and are stimulated by insulin. So if you have any cancer, uh, even one that uh, uh, is minuscule and uh, about to be destroyed by your immune system, the lantus will stimulate these cancers to proliferate. This has been challenged by the manufacturers uh, and supposedly proven not to be true, but the proof is in very short-term studies where cancers require 10, 20, or more years to develop. So uh, Lantus has not been shown to be uh, a safe insulin. Um, the Levomir uh, does not have this problem. Uh, neither of these insulins uh, last 24 hours as claimed by their manufacturers. Uh, uh, although some type 2 diabetics who are making a lot of their own insulin may get away with one shot per day of Lantus or Levomir, the uh, type 1s cannot. Uh, so what the endocrinologists and the manufacturers are advising is take, don't take a basal dose, take a super physiologic dose or an industrial dose of these insulins in the hope that it'll last for 24 hours. But it'll also force you to be eating for 24 hours because um, a basal insulin does not cover food. But if you uh, take so much of it that it'll last a long time, uh, you have to eat food to cover the excessive amount of insulin. So what we recommend is that you use only basal amounts an amount to keep you level when you're fasting, and that you take it twice a day. And the twice a day is not every 12 hours, as many uh, endocrinologists recommend. It is on arising in the morning and at bedtime. Not only that, the bedtime dose is not likely to last more than uh, eight and a half or hours or so because of something called the dawn phenomenon. So uh, if uh, you're dealing with a small child who's going to sleep 10 hours, you're going to have to give him his morning shot while he's sleeping. Uh, if uh, giving it in his butt with a short needle uh, doesn't wake him up, that would be great. But uh, you don't give these things uh, too far apart overnight. Uh, I would say no more than eight and a half hours. Uh, this is against the claims of the manufacturers, against common practice, probably against the recommendations of the uh, professional uh, societies, but this is what works. And uh, I know because uh, I've been treating my own diabetes for 70 years, and um, uh, I treat many diabetics and uh, I'm able to give them essentially normal blood sugars, not by following the rules, but by doing what works. Thanks for watching. This is Dr. Bernstein with Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes University. Uh, before you sign off from this session of Diabetes University, take a look at my book, Diabetes Solution, which uh, you can view at the site listed below, or you can purchase from any online bookstore. Also, visit my monthly seminars, teleseminars. Uh, the site for getting these free seminars is listed below. Um, you can also uh, join the Diabetes Forum, where you can ask questions to other diabetics who have read my book and have been using it. And one last thing is, if you go to the teleseminar, you can ask questions, which I will answer, uh, if not the same month that you asked the question, uh, within a month or two thereof. Thanks.